what is the future of vigor what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having a fantastic day in today's video we're discussing the future of vigor this is an important video i needed to make because as you guys can tell there's been a severe severe lack of content from my channel concerning vigor and the reason for that is because i'm slowly slowly losing passion for the game as the lack of continuous updates and changes made to the game each and every update it seems like we are getting less and less changes every update and it's it's not looking good so i just want to take you guys through uh what i think is the future of vigor in this quick video so let's start off with my own personal history i've been playing vigor since day one since it released on xbox and game preview that was four years ago four years ago and i've been creating content on this game consistently nearly for four years straight and this game it has a special place in my heart because it has literally created what my channel is today and the change that it is that it's going through and it's it's just going downhill as much as people want to say vigor is in its prime right now i'm sorry it is not in its prime it is far from what its prime was. Vigor had its peak opportunity when it became free to play on Xbox to make the most of its opportunity to become one of the top tier free to play games like Warzone and Fortnite. But it missed out. As the changes and updates went on, the seasons went on, the less and less the content improved. And it's sad enough to say we've been getting the same updates for four years straight four years straight we've had the same exact style of updates and battle passes since season one to now yes little quality of life changes here and there and a lot of big changes and improvements since day one of the game yes features have improved gameplay has improved the gunplay has improved but the lack of features and important changes to keep a game's lifespan going is what is killing this game. The lack of innovative, unique features to a game like Vigor, an extraction looter shooter, is what is killing this game. Look at games like Escape from Tarkov. That is the biggest example I use for Vigor because it is literally the same exact game, just in third person and quicker paced and not as realistic, which is another thing I need to get to in this video. But we've had the same updates for the past four years. Past four years. What is those updates? A battle pass, new cosmetics, a new gun, a new consumable, and occasionally once a year, a new map. And of course the new game modes of elimination and shootout which has not really been a core thing they should have been focusing on, but that has been their main focus over Encounters. Encounters have been the same. Yes, we've got a little bit of POI changes and signal detectors and things since the beginning of the game, but no innovative features. No, I, what I personally think would have made Vigor better is AI. Yes, they have AI in the tutorial, and a lot of people are saying, oh, no, we don't want AI and Vigor. But those are the same people that go back and play DMZ and say DMZ is better when it's literally filled with AI. <laughs> I, it, it just blows my mind. It blows my mind when people say they don't want AI and Vigor, but they're also those same people that enjoy games like DMZ and even Escape from Tarkov, which have AI in their games. Just never made sense to me. But I think Vigor could have strived after that. Vigor could have taken after that and improved on that. And we don't have to have the map riddled with AI, just a couple of AI bots or even AI animals, wildlife that would attack you or give away your position. That would have been cool. I know they gotta work on a feature for that, but the fact that it's been four years and we haven't even strived close to that, or even strived close to any unique, I'm talking unique features for the game to improve the game and make the game better. Now the lack of direction and identity for Vigor. I don't know if it's trying to be realistic or if it's trying to be an arcade battle royale. 
because I get mixed answers because way back in the day we used to have a legit feature where you could sprint and reload literally it was a feature you could sprint and reload but they removed it and a lot of people asked the question why was this removed and they said it wasn't realistic few updates later few years later they go on and they added the, the dreaded the dreaded feature of jump shot and drop shot and what do they say it is a realistic feature no logic there no logic there and they are still standing by their point of that being a feature in the game so if we're gonna have that feature in the game put in sprint and reload because that is just as difficult to do in real life as jump shotting and drop shotting so devs what is your identity what direction are you going towards and are you encouraging this game to be a battle royale because the lack of features for us to actually go out and loot rather than shooting and the incentives for upgrading our shelter by looting is not there and has not been there since season one of vigor four years we're on season 16 no shelter upgrades and that's something that's been asked for since season one why is it taking so long to get that we were even supposed to receive it sometime this year from your roadmap and we still have not received it and I don't think we're going to receive it this year whatsoever so vigor again I ask where are the shelter improvements where are the new shelter upgrades what is the incentive for us to loot us people that want to play a looter extraction shooter what is the incentive to loot now when you complete your shelter no shelter upgrades there's no prestige system there's no shelter wipes there's no stash wipes nothing you are just continuously creating this kingpin in vigor you can be a kingpin holding thousands of weapons thousands of ammo thousands of materials and nothing to do with it no case in the world if you die or whatever goes on so it's better just to label this game as an extraction shooter battle royale that is my honest opinion on the state of vigor when it comes to that there's no improvement there has not been any improvement since season one and it's the gameplay yes as i said in the beginning it's improved gameplay has improved but the game itself the features the lack of game changing features have not been there and that is what's killing this game and that's why a lot of veteran players are leaving and that's why you guys are having a hard time keeping new players and that is in my next point vigor is getting a lot of new players we see a lot of new players but how long do those players play two months one season two seasons and then they're out of here and the proof of that is just in the vigor is slowly dying point and the proof of that in the low view counts on streams and YouTube now what is keeping these players from still playing I think I know exactly what that point is the lack of identity point the lack of features for looting it is basically a battle royale extraction game that's what this game has become and the reason for that is because of the toxicity of killers in this game I'm not gonna name any names but they are also streamers and content creators that encourage the toxicity in vigor and that is what's killing this game straight up killing this game this community has became very toxic it's became about one thing it has became about kills rather than what the game actually is a survival and whenever I kill somebody that I outplay them I outsmart them what am I called I am called a camper in what was supposed to be a survival extraction looter shooter game yes I'm renting and I need to stay on track but I am very passionate for this game. I want this game to succeed. And as you guys can tell, I'm popping up the images now of all the videos that I've made that can make Vigor better, bringing balance to the game. This game needs revived. And even I called them out and made a polls on my own for this game to improve and succeed. And none of these videos had an answer to them. Whenever I said, uh, bring balance back to Vigor, whenever I said, did the polls they were asked over and over again in their dev stream 
about jump shot, about drop shot being removed, and they stuck to their point. Vigor devs do not care about in improving this game. Straight up right now, that's what I'm saying. That's my opinion on their actions, on how they act towards this game. Maybe it's not the devs. Maybe it's Bohemian Interactive overall. But I'm giving my honest opinion. And if I lose my partnership over giving my honest opinion, that just shows what I'm saying right now is fact. I'm at a point in Vigor where it's hard to play. It's getting really difficult to play. Do I play, enjoy playing it, making content for you guys? Yes. I enjoy making content for you guys because I make unique content and I play the way I want to play, not because of how people want me to play and not forced to play. I'm not forced to give any opinion on Vigor. Vigor devs do not force me to say anything in these videos. I'm giving my straight up opinions and I'm letting it all out in this video. Because I want this game to change. We need change or this game will die. It will die. It is slowly dying on Xbox. Because in the free to play list. It is under World of Tanks. And that's very far down the list in free to play games. Vigor, yes, it has a boost in views. Whenever there's a new update. But it's not even been a month. Not even a month. And the views have plummeted down again. Plummeted. And it's sad to see that happen. For a game like this that has so much potential, it is dying. A slow, painful death. It is bleeding out. And the more and more lack of features and lack of important changes to this game, the more that bleed out is going to rush out. The more, the faster the bleed out is going to happen. The faster this game is going to die. And I don't want to see that happen. And hopefully it doesn't happen. But the faster and the less they do, it's going to happen. And to still prove that point is our next topic top content creators leaving vigor and those top content creators were literally carrying vigor on its back i am the last man standing that has been playing this game since day one and still creating content on it we lost half metal fox we lost half metal fox because he got so frustrated because the devs were not fixing the cheating issue they impl implemented a report system but to this day, since they imported that uh, report system, we have not seen any of those top people or any feedback on if any players have been banned or punished for cheating. So did they just add it just to shut us up? That is my question. Did they add that feature just to shut us up and act like they were doing something about it? Because that's what it seems like. Because nothing's been happened. Nothing has been reported to my knowledge of players actually being banned or punished for cheating. So I think that was just a feature added just to shut us up, honestly. That's my personal opinion. Because as of today, right now as I'm recording this, I do not know any information on if any players have been banned or punished. So if they have and I'm wrong, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. And I hope I'm not wrong because that'd be embarrassing. But we've lost half Metal Fox, South of Stress, and literally I can count on my fingers right now in the Vigor partners that are still partnered from this game since Vigor campaign partners. Since day one this game has became free to play on Xbox, I can count on my hands how many partners are still partnered with this game. And all those other people, they left. They left. Even veteran players are leaving. All we have left are the people that are kill hunting and streaming this game for their kills getting their easy views because they play the game all day day in day out getting their kills that's how they create their content that's how they make their money i'm not going to judge them for that do you but that is literally the only top two players that are playing this game right now besides me when i occasionally upload i it's it's very sad it's very sad that vigor has gone to this point to where it's just plummeting it is plummeting people will say vigor's in his prime now it's not it's very far from its prime. Its prime was whenever it became free to play. That's when we had the most concurrent players continuously playing longer than a week. We have a lot of new players coming in now, but they're not sticking as in my previous points. And other games in the same genre with less are doing more in getting more players and keeping more players than what Vigor is. They're doing more with less. And what is that? That is Arena Breakout, the new game that I've been playing that is a mobile game. 
that has seemed to yes it's basically like escape from Tarkov ripped off of Tarkov but hey it's doing more than Vigor it's getting more views on YouTube than Vigor and that's the crazy thing it's getting more views on a mobile game than what Vigor is and Vigor is on a console and Vigor should be a bigger game but Arena Breakout right now as from what I've noticed is actually has a bigger community than Vigor and it's very sad it's very sad because Arena Breakout it's a, it's a great game I enjoy Arena Breakout more than Vigor right now because of its features because of its uniqueness of something that people are able to play on their devices rather than just going and having to pay a lot of money to play Tarkov this is a free to play game on mobile and it's doing less it has less doing more than Vigor and that's the sad part that is a very sad part Arena Breakout has a system for their storage that I wish Vigor would implement to limit us from having thousands of weapons thousands of ammo but they kind of ruin that because the way they monetize their game is you pretty much can buy weapons you can buy weapons from the in-game store you can buy plans and that's pretty much what is destroying this game from being able to follow that track of following the footsteps of what are we gonna break out with did with their storage on limiting how much you can have in your storage to make the game flow continue and enhance the need to loot but I'm just ranting on and I'm gonna rant on and I can, can continue to rant on but free to play that's no longer an excuse anymore everybody used to make the excuse oh it's a free to play game that's no longer an excuse games like Fortnite Warzone and DMZ, Apex, and even mobile free-to-play games are doing more than Vigor. More than Vigor, and they monetize their games better than what Vigor does. Whoever it is that's in control of Vigor right now, please, please do something. Please do something about this game. I know you guys see the numbers. I know you guys see the numbers of active players playing this game for longer than a week. And you guys know the truth. You guys know this game is dying. I know you guys do. And I know you guys are watching this video. And I hope you guys do. Because we need change. Vigor needs change. Vigor needs revived. Because it is slowly bleeding out. They need a medic to come save this game. Please Vigor. Do something more than your same concepted updates. New map. New game mode. New cosmetics battle pass one weapon one consumable which we have gotten less the past two updates because we have not got a single consumable since uh, season 14 maybe even 13 what is going on bigger what is going on if season 6 17 and 18 are not improvements and are basically the same exact thing over and over again the same concept I am probably going to be done with Vigor. I'm not saying I'm done with Vigor. I'm not saying I'm leaving the partnership. So devs do not try to say that I am terminating because I'm not. I'm just saying if you guys don't get your stuff straight and get it fixed, I will be leaving. Because I joined this partnership to help give feedback to make this game better. And our feedback as partners, and I'm sure a lot of the other partners are watching this and will agree. We have given feedback that we know will make this game better. And none of that feedback has really been implemented or taken seriously. You guys are just going on your own track of doing what you guys want the game to be instead of taking players feedback. Please figure. Do something. Do something about the cheating. Do something about the gunplay. Do something about the looting features. Do something about actual game changing features that will make the game better we want to continue playing this game we want to love and enjoy vigor again please devs please this is my plea make vigor great make it great because it was never great it's an awesome game but it can be great it can be a great free to play game if you guys put your work into it and put your eyes focus in the right direction for this game I'm really excited to hear you guys' feedback on this video. 
make sure to drop a like down below comment what you guys think and if you were new to the channel and you enjoyed my feedback hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you're notified when we upload a random video and i'm done ranting i'm done wasting your time this probably 20 minute video but i had to get it all out there i had to lay it all out and uh, if i'm still partnered after this that's great if i'm not you guys know the truth so again hope you have a fantastic day and we'll catch you guys on the next one peace out outlanders